Welcome to Cattle Sense, your weekly podcast. I'm your host, Penny Bowie. Our special guest today is Emmons Ranch from Fairfield, Texas. But first, hit that subscribe button and share so we can build a large herd of viewers together. I'm excited today to have Steve and Cindy Emmons, who have been breeding beef masters since 1975. They have been recognized by BBU as Breeder of the Year, not once, but twice. Welcome to the show, Steve and Cindy. Hi, Penny. Hi, Penny. Being recognized as Beefmaster Breeder of the Year twice is proof of the quality of Beefmaster cattle you have and the generosity of your time given to the association. Emmons Ranch has won every fraternity and show in our industry. That's because you have selected and bred elite beef masters that y'all call the good ones. So let's have some fun, and I want to know about the Emmons good ones. Well, we've, we've been breeding these cattle. We're in our 49th year. And when we started, the beef master genetics were pretty well all over the board. You could, you could breed a cow and a bull and the calf wouldn't look like neither one of them. So I knew that was a problem, that we had to get our genetics more consistent and more con predictable in trying to produce the good ones. And another thing that I concentrated hard on was finding the cows that would produce the good bulls. Because you have to, ha if you can't sell your bulls in a purebred operation, that's half your money right there. And, uh, Mm -hmm. I want to concentrate on finding those females that make the good bulls because as far as I know in my operation, the female's the big end of the stick. You get them powerful females, consistent females, they'll make your bull look good. Or you can get those average females and they'll make your bull look bad. So yeah. I was concentrating on making bulls to sell uh, good heavy muscle athletic bulls. And so that's what we proceeded to do. And we just try to uh, use the embryo transfer program. We started doing embryo work in 1980 when it started. And I knew that was on, the only way to really stack those good genetics and make a faster progress uh, with my cattle. And so that's what we started doing. Uh, we started flushing one cow and keeping all our daughters and producing them looking for the ones that produce good bulls. And when we found one of them that would produce the good bulls, we went to flushing her and keeping her daughters and producing them, looking for the ones that could produce those good bulls. And so that's how we basically built our program because I didn't worry about the females. They'd be good. You just needed to make those good bulls and you need to make them with good foot and bone and good structure and good muscle and good eye appeal to them. So that's kind of how we built our program. Sounds like the image brand to me. <laughs> well, good quality. We try to stay pretty close, close to the best, and and keep making progress every year, trying to find those matings that will carry us farther down the road to the next generation. Yeah. Well, Image Ranch has been breeding and promoting beef masters, I know, nonstop for forty nine years. I know you're having your demand the brand sale coming up August 17th, and you're calling it the final chapter. Is it time to slow down? Yes, ma'am. It's time to time to slow down for sure. Uh, if the if the good Lord takes care of me in a few weeks, I'll be 71 years old, and I've been doing this a long time and enjoy doing it. I just can't do it like I once could. You know, I I enjoy what I do. I enjoy making cattle, laying cattle, clipping cattle, preparing cattle for sales. I enjoy all that, but uh, I'm just not physically able to do 60, 80 head at a time anymore. So I've got to cut my numbers back where I, it, it'll still be enjoyable, but I can handle it, and it won't take me two or three days to get over it. So you're having two sales now, so basically you're cutting it down to one sale a year. Yes, ma'am. We're going to move it back to one sale a year in March with bulls and females together. Well, I know it's got to be hard to have two sales a year, and Presley is doing it as many years. Yes, ma'am. It, it's a constant effort. You 
you know, as soon as you get through with the sale in August, you start making your breeding decisions to start breeding in the fall for next year's sale. And you've made your flushing yeah. decisions the year before that. Yeah, I understand. Let's bring on your managers of your Beefmaster sale. We have Bruce Robbins with Robbins Cattle Consultant and Marketing and Mike Green with 3G Cattle Sales and Consultant. Hi, Bruce and Mike. Hey, Penny. How you doing? Hi, Penny. Hi, Steve and Cindy. We've been talking about Emmons Ranch female production sale coming up. I know there's going to be a big opportunity for breeders to select and buy some quality genetics that has been successful in the pasture, the show ring, and the sale pen. I know you already know the cattle selling. Let's head out to the sale pen and talk to cattle. Okay, here's lot seven. Yeah, this lot seven is a beautiful individual that EMS bet on Annie. First calf pair coming to you. Look at the length and the depth and the smoothness. The perfect udder that you've seen over and over again over the years from Emmons Ranch. She exemplifies all of that. She's a bet on Bubba daughter right back out of the great proven donor pistol, Annie. Got the king of the hill calf, the lot two bull we're selling in the sale calf at side. This is absolutely going to be a donor female in any breeding program, bringing in that 12-inch ribeye. But this is what they were talking about. Good ones on good ones and make good ones. It's not complicated. You stack them up. You stack those great female lines on top of each other, as Steve and Cindy have done for years and years. And this is the result. I think just a tremendous opportunity, Lot 7. Yeah, yes, Bruce. Just like you're saying, this is a tremendous female. She's a full sister to our pick of the lot sale two years ago that Bobby Bryan purchased. And uh, he's done really well with that female in his program. And this female will go out and knock you a home run. You can build a whole program around her. Lot 21. Yeah, this is another one of those beautiful first calf pairs. Catching a flame, bonfire daughter out of catching a dream. That, that bloodline consistently has just knocked it out of the park uh, for Emmons. And anybody that's bought that bloodline, this female just was reserve junior division pair at the JBBA Nationals. And look at that amazing britches calf on the side, correct, fancy, really beautiful little calf. The cow herself over an 800 yearling, 11 and a half ribeye with a 136 ribeye per 100 and exposed back to King of the Road. But here's one that's already proven in the ring, could be a three and one. You got that baby at side and the cow herself just so correct and fancy and angular. And then, I, like I said, you got that little coupon on the side Man, it's hard to go bad right here. This is one of the most proven products we have at M Emmons Ranch. When you get Bonfire catching the dream, you got the real deal right there. She'll be consistent every time, and she'll flush really good because all those cattle flush really good, and they're really consistent. And this bull calf she's got at her side is really a special calf if you study him uh, if you study down his top and the length and the muscle and the bone this calf's carrying for a young calf he's a real deal so i know how many herd bulls she's going to make for somebody lot 22a 22a is a beautiful female she's polled she's selling in this pick of bread heifer donor prospects you know to king george out of catching a dream Everybody that knows me, I talk about catching a dream all the time, all the way back to the great Wicked Witch and Motown breeding on that bottom side. All of that line of cattle consistently knocks out home runs. And when you look at this 22A or the 22B, as far as that goes, tremendous individuals. They've got the length, the depth, the style, the quality. This A female over a 10-inch ribeye over a three IMF, so she's got everything we're looking for today, plus that eye appeal, plus all the quality, the built-in predictability and genetics, and I think you're gathering up some of the best individuals that we've got walking out there in the business today in that female. When you look at the structure on these females of 22A and 22B, you just watch them walk across there. They got the bone, the foot, 
the athletic ability, the stride, the pretty long front end, the straight tops, and they'll produce power on top of power. They're full sisters to our queen of dreams donor cow that we usually call her 777. She's produced Bubba Fever, the 2022 show bull of the year. She produced Bet on Brady. I mean, she's just a herd bull producer. She produced the Bet on Mr. Bet on Me bull that Doug McCullum owns now. You may have seen this picture on the internet lately. A uh, super, super bull. And these full sisters to her are going to produce the same way, I guarantee you, because I'm flushing three more of their full sisters now, and they produce the same way too. So you're going to miss a whole deal here if you don't get one of these females. But also think about the calf and the belly, folks. Bubba Fever, the 2020 Houston Grand Champion Bull. Both these females in this pick lot are heavy bred to that bull. Those are going to be dynamic babies coming out of these females. Just another little icing on the cake on this, on this package. Well, this brain lot 22B, this is her full sister, right? Yeah, this is really a tough pick to me. I mean, it just depends what you want. There's, as as all of us have said, and especially Stevenson, there's so much consistency bred into this program of breeding these top cow families and structurally correct cow together. This here again, King George catching a dream. A little more scanned out on this female at almost a 12 ribeye out of one of 1.5 ribeye per hundred. Just absolutely huge, three and a half IMF polled again. Uh, such a big deal right now. Tons of four rib and shape in these females, yet level top and square hip, correct structurally. You watch that female walk, like Steve said a while ago. These are herd bull producers. I mean, that whole family producing herd bulls over and over again. And then you get this female going to be seven months bred to Bubba Fever at the sale. I mean, this is this is a tremendous pick. Lot 33B. 33 coming at you. Look at the length, the depth, the style, the class, the charisma. Look at that fluid movement. As Steve's talked about, all these cattle that he've worked on all these years, they consistently have that confirmation. They've always been very conscious of confirmation. And as Steve told you in his, in his beginning stock about building on stacking these great females, look at this King George daughter, slick-headed pole, back out of a headliner daughter, back out of stylish Jezzy, all the way back to Jezebel on that bottom side, bred up to Bubba's good stuff. Again, a tremendous individual in her own right. But in that package, in that quality, with that look, with that style, that's where you're going to be able to go out there and produce tremendous herd bulls, tremendous females. But you're going to have that bred in predictability and the consistency that's so important in this purebred industry, in my opinion, that this is where you get it right here from Emmons Ranch. You're exactly right, Bruce. And this female, when you look back, what what did Jezebel produce? She put pro, she produced herd bulls, big time herd bulls for different people. What did Stylist Jesse do? She produced Firehouse National Champion Bull. She produced Miss Beefmaster America female Bonfires Barbie. I mean. This female right here is backed by the most powerful bull producers that I got in my program. So I know exactly what she's gonna do. She's gonna rack them up. I'd like to say something about this female. We lost her mother about two weeks ago. Um, it broke my heart because she was a very special donor cow here at Emmons Ranch. So there won't be any more of these Izzy daughters offered for sale. So that's another very special thing on this 33B. Lot 14. Yeah, lot 14, Bubba's golden honey. Bet on Bubba and Goldilocks honey, that line of cattle that Miss Buff Lenny is just keeps on going on down the line everywhere. This female over 11 rib at 134 per 100, a three and a half IMF. And then we talk about the maternal traits of the Emmons cattle female here in the top 10% in dollar M in our breed and 35% in ribeye, but skirt pole, just look at the depth this female's got to have that much mm -hmm. length, angularity. Then she's got that volume and guts about her too, structurally very correct. Heavy bread at sale time to the Bubba Fever Bull. 
I mean, this is a line of cattle that never misses. I've seen them so many years. You get that Miss Buff and Goldilocks honey and Buff's Goldilocks in there. They, they produce such beautiful udders and, and so feminine cow wise and that's people don't realize that's what makes these great bulls these these really tremendously female uh, tremendously uh feminine females like they've got and then this one just got a little extra bit of that depth and guts to go about her you're exactly right mike uh this female right here is the real deal with femininity and power but a lot of people get mistaken about what makes hard bulls in our breed of cattle but the most feminine females is what makes the best bulls it's not those coarse fronted type heavy fronted females that's not what makes you bulls it's the ones that look like a pretty girl and that's that's what i want in my program i want them to look like miss america when they walk out there i want them to have the right structure the right look the right muscle and the whole nine yards and the only difference between these cattle walking right there in this video pen and walking in the show rings, a haircut and a bubble bath, they're supposed to be the same animal that walks the pasture. Yeah, Bubba's golden honey is that female, guys. Do not miss that female. Lot 26. 26 coming in here. Another bred heifer. They got a tremendous amount of bred heifers in this sale offering this year. And I think that's that could be overlooked by a lot of folks. I think it was what 25, 30, 35 bred heifers. I didn't, I forgot to count on them. But there's a huge number of bred heifers being offered. You look at the length and style and class of this bet on Bubba daughter. The largest offering of bet on Bubba daughters, I guess we've ever sold here at Emmons Ranch. And then on that bottom side, back to that dreaming about fire, another one of those great bonfire daughters out of catching a dream. As we've talked about, you get in that catching a dream family of cattle, the consistency of quality production, the predictability of quality production with whoever you breed them to is bred into them. It works. She was exposed back to that lot two bull king of the hill. You'll have that palpation, but look at the style, look at the quality, look at the class over and over again in these families. That's where you can put them together and build you a great program. Yeah, and I'd, I'd like to point out, too, that the people that don't know about Dreaming About Fire, you know, she was a BPG Hall of Fame cow and dam reserve grand in Houston this year, and the dam above is good stuff, and the, which was grand at State Fair of Texas. I mean, we're talking about some proven genetics and show winners right here. Lot 29. Yeah, I really like this Hummer female. Amazing britches. Colonel Sugar, unfortunately, lost Colonel Sugar at, at an earlier age than we really wanted to. And then you've got that headliner in the great Sugar Bell, Bell there. This this bred heifer bred to the Lot 2 bull, the king of the hill bull. Really straighten her lines and clean and correct. Look at that extension of front end she's showing you right there. And, Square in that hip level between hooks and pins. Really beautiful female. You're right, Mike. And that and that Colonel Sugar Bull, I hated to lose him at an early age because he was doing us a really jam up job of producing consistent cattle. And this female right here will do the, exactly the same thing. Lot 23A. 23A, selling in that pick of bread, heifer donor prospects. Another great pick coming to you in this sale offering. Another one, bet on Bubba on that top side. And this is Queen of Dreams is the mama. You know, Steve referenced that female earlier. That Queen of Dreams female, one of the first King George catching a dream females that he got out there, been in their donor program. But just look at that female. Look at the length, the femininity, the stretch, the squareness in that hip, depth of flank, beautiful underline. I mean, you can just go on and on and on about the confirmational superiority of this female. But just think about that breeding. Bet on Bubba knocking a home run across the breed in bulls and females. You're bringing that great herd bull into the program. This female's got phenomenal growth, 74, 630, over a 1,000-pound yearling weight. Combine that with that 10-inch ribeye. Combine that with Bubba, King George, catching a dream. You got Miss Bet on Buff and catching a dream up close and personal. Just what Steve told you, how they built this program, 
these females are bringing that to you, stacking these tremendously predictable, consistent producing females in that kind of product with that look, that style, that grace, there's no way to go wrong right there on 23A. Yeah, Bruce, exactly. I think people will be, people will be, real, be really surprised when they see this female in the pen and not just on the video. It's hard looking at that video and telling certain things. This is a powerful female, not only just that correct, and but I've got written notes on her. She's just powerful with tons of bone. She's a really bold made female to be that correct. Y'all are exactly right. This, this, that's what I was going to say. You may not can see it on the video, but she's one powerful machine right there. But yet you look at that front end, you look at that femininity, this female's carrying. She looks like a pretty girl. She just happens to have a lot more stuff to go with her, uh, to go along with that being pretty. That's one of the good ones, huh? <laughs> yes, ma'am. <laughs> I agree. All right, lot one. Here's an unusual pick in most sales you don't see. Yeah, you know, we started doing this years ago. I think it's a perfect opportunity to give people the, the chance and not have to wait uh, through the sale offering on a particular animal. Uh, if you come and you only got one in mind, um, obviously you don't know who else is on it. Maybe you do, maybe you don't. But it's an opportunity for you just to reach out there that first that first lot that we sell is the pick of the sale. So the animal that you're interested in and you don't want anybody else to have it, obviously that's your one opportunity. You've got a pick of every lot that we are selling in this sale in that lot one pick, just an amazing opportunity. Yeah, we came up with this idea a few years ago. And, and I think it, it, just like Mike said, the beauty of this is, you get to go in there and look, whether it's a first cat pair, whether it's some of these cattle we've been highlighting right here today, Penny, with you, there, there is a tremendous set of animals being offered in every category. First calf pairs, bred heifers, open heifers, anywhere you want to look, of course, the herd bull, but they are all here. So in this lot, you can go in there and make your selection right up front and take it. Not up to me or Mike to do the sale order and, and try to line them up the way y'all may like them out there in the public. That's a, that's a hell of a task on a set of females like this. And, and this is your lot. This is where you can get exactly what you want. And here's lot two. Isn't this the only bull in the sale? Hey, yes, ma'am. They've done this uh, every year in this uh, production sale, the, the August sale, we've always come in there and typically it's a bull that they've had out on the show string or been showing, but we've, uh, we decided to always try to bring a sure enough herd bull to this sale to have one or two. I think one year we had three in the sale, but we've always tried to have a really good bull in this sale so people can come grab them a herd sire and go put them to work in that fall breeding with this sale being in August. And this King of the Hill is a great example of that. Tremendous growth performance, 71, 700, and 1175, over a 14-inch ribeye. Got all the meat and thickness and power you can ask for. This is kind of the example of what Steve's always talked about on bulls with a big foot, a good solid bone. Look at that top line in this bull, the meat from end to end, and that balance and that super correct sheath. And he's got the good look in that head and quality. With King George back on that graph, great 002 female, the great Maverick daughter. We've sold some bulls out of this same matting in the bull sales, but this bull can go out and be somebody's herd bull. And he's coming with what I think is 160 units of semen to go with him. So you already know the bull will go collect semen. This is your bull that you can go take and get returns on immediately. Yeah, and, and on top of that, you know, people that are concerned about, you know, low, low birth weight calves, which we don't worry about at Emmons Ranch, but this bull ranking in the top 10% in birth weight with some accuracy to go behind it. The bull also had scurs and they popped them off to, as obviously always do for the show ring. And his mama, talk about consistency and bull producing cattle. Of course, his mother's a dam of 
Bubba Power that won San Antonio two different times. Uh, you look at this bull's genetic makeup, King George and, and that Maverick daughter that was a bull producer. And you can go back several generations and find Black Jack and the great Tiger Queen painted tiger back in there too. But, you know, I heard an old auctioneer one time, a very famous auctioneer, Ike Hamilton, say, say that pretty is as pretty does. Well, if you look in the catalog and you look at the calves, when you see the videos, you're going to see some calves out of this bull on the side of these first calf uh, heifer females in here that are absolutely tremendous. He's doing what he's supposed to do. Steve said, you turn this bull out with a set of cows, he will get them bred. So pretty is as pretty does. He doesn't only have the consistency, the makeup, the performance, the semen that goes with him and that genetic family that works, but this bull will get it done. He's not just a pet. He will get done what you need to get done in the pasture. Yes, sir. You said that just right. He's he's running with a large group of these sale cattle now, uh, finishing up on the last set of heifers. And, uh, I mean, this bull will breed anything that moves plus any extra he can gather up from anybody else. And I like that <laughs> in my bulls. I like them to be aggressive. And the calves are low birth weight calves, easy calving. And when you look at the calves on the side of these females, You'll see the consistency in these calves. They're good-looking, pretty calves, and, and this bull's super gentle. Do anything with him you want to, uh, and he collects really good semen, and he's just the real deal. You can take him home and do whatever you want to with him. Well, if you're serious about building a quality beefmaster herd and buying from good people, you need to head to Emmons Demand the Sale. Well, I'd like to invite everyone to come to the final chapter. And when I came up with that name, it definitely made tears roll down my face because um, in case y'all don't know it, we bleed Beefmaster. Um, that's been part of our lives for 49 years. It's been a big part of our lives. Uh, our children have grown up in this breed. Three of our grandchildren have grown up in this breed. Um, we have great people that we have met over these years, friends that we can call on anytime. So um, this is very special to us. And we'd just like to invite you to come August 17th in Bryan, Texas at the Brazos County Expo Center. Uh, cattle will be available for viewing starting Friday at noon. We'll have uh, a big dinner and social at the sale site and entertainment, and it will be in the AC, so it will be cool. The sale will be Saturday morning at 11. Cattle will be there for you to look at all morning. Uh, then lunch will be provided after the sale and we'll host a JBBA heifer show at the conclusion of the sale. So we hope you can come and, and spend a day or two with us and, and look at what we have spent 49 years making. Oh, another thing I wanna add that I meant to earlier, we're only selling one open heifer in this sale and that's a haltered heifer, show heifer prospect. That's always been my goal at each sale is to try to have the sale without any open heifers. And I call that a true production sale. We don't always get that done because of, of different reasons. We'll sell five, six or seven open heifers uh, each time sometimes, but we only sell them one this time. And she's a halter show heifer prospect. Everything else is either a pair or breads. And, and I really, think that's good for everybody to have a you know true production cattle i couldn't agree more with everything you said right then steve and this just from a personal standpoint folks these are great people everybody knows them i met them in the 80s been working with them i guess from the late 90s on selling cattle and selling their production every year and great folks producing great cattle that go out and make you money in your own breeding program. That's what this deal is all about at the end of the day. And you can come to Inman's Ranch, demand the brand sale, and get what you want, get what you need to be a better Beefmaster breeder. And it's my pleasure to be working with them. Regrettably, this year, I won't be there at the sale site. I will be available 
to help y'all. And most of you know why I won't be there. But at any rate, call me. I'll be glad to talk to you about them. You know that Mike and Steve, they're going to be there and Cindy and be talking to you about anything about these cattle because these folks, I'm, I'm very lucky to be able to call them clients and friends and friends more than clients. And they brought you a tremendous set of cattle for this final chapter. You can look in the cowman at their July ad. You can read the letter that Steve put in there, but it's the good stuff stacking good on good from first one to last one. Yeah, well said, Bruce. Uh, of course, they started in 75. I uh, hate to say it, but I was just 15 years old then. But <laughs> I, met them, I met them in the mid-80s when I was managing a ranch and Beef Master Ranch in South Texas. But, uh, you know, I, I don't want to be redundant what Bruce just said, just as fine a people as you can be around. Uh, but what really impresses me about the kettle, and that's what we're talking about today as a kettle, is, is Steve and Cindy realize from the get-go that uh, it's all about structure. You know, we're always, all of us are always chasing something that may be more marketable, and uh, it always changes. But when you start breeding cattle, uh, and you start breeding cattle for proper structure, proof positive with them is like Penny when she started this this podcast talked about they've won every fraternity and every show you can imagine but then you put that look and that style and charisma along with the kind of cattle that they're allowing you us to go out there and purchase from them that's a huge statement there's not a whole lot of programs that can hang their hat on that that have got those kind of cattle that are proven but then I've got clients that tell me every day, you know, they make more money off of Emmons cattle than, than most cattle that they even look at. And that's a huge statement. And, and, I, and I'm proud to be involved with it. Uh, I'm going to be uh, helping Bruce and I'll, you'll have to listen to me in the block this year, but uh, Bruce and I'll all get together and we'll, we'll offer them to you in, uh, in proper fashion. Well, Cindy and Steve, I've always been impressed with your breeding program and how active you are in the association. Kudos to both of you. Everyone needs to take a ride to Bryan, Texas on August 17th at the Brazos County Expo Complex at 11 a.m. cell time for the Emmons Ranch Demand the Brand, the final chapter, female sale. To our cattle viewers, Thank you for your interest in Cattle Sense. Don't forget to hit that subscribe button. We are building a large herd of viewers together. Thank you, Steve and Cindy, Bruce and Mike. Hope this sale is a success. Adios.